Hey YouTube family, what's going on? It's me again, Winston. Today I'm going to be constructing a simple bench. But I'm just not just going to make a simple bench, but I'm going to construct a bench upon the request of my mom for our dining dining room table. And the reason why I went with the treated wood is it's going to be simpler to coat and I mean, stain it and varnish it and stuff like that. And so let me just show you what I've done so far. Now here I've taken off about a good 20 inches off of each end because I, you know, I only wanted the bench to be only 56 inches long. This is custom, right? This is no specified plan or anything of that nature. I took off about 20 inches off of each end. So that's what I did and I'm going to actually do something uh, with those ends, okay? And you're going to see what. Now, I know you probably you folks are probably wondering how or what I have in mind as far as design. Well, think of it this way: this, yeah, if you just imagine this turned over, it's going to sit like this. I'm going to use the legs uh, using those cut-off ends, but I'm going to put a reinforcing beam right here in the middle. Okay, I'm going to put cutouts in the middle of each one of those legs just to help keep it in place. That way you have a little bit more, you know, structural support as, you know, people sit down on it. Okay, now here I've already constructed my 2x4. This is a 2x4 that's been uh, shortened quite a bit because I don't need it to go the whole length. And if you are wondering, the first one is a 2x12, okay? So that's what I'm making the main seat with, 2x12, and this is 2x4. Now before I go, you know, securing this support beam in the middle of my bench, I have to make sure that everything is, you know, measured correctly so that it's even on both sides of the beam. Okay, there's four. Each end is of two inches, like so. And not just on one end of the board, but on both ends. Okay, so we're pretty much set and ready to secure. Very minute, very small markings that I just make so that I know where I need to properly place this wood. Plus, I'm going to varnish this anyway. I'm going to stain it a little darker color, so it's going to be hardly noticeable. Don't worry, I'm going to add more glue, but I'm not going to make you watch the whole darn thing. Okay, so I've got the glue already on there and everything, so I'm going to let that sit for a few hours. I'll come right back to it. Now my next objective is to make a uh, hole or a passageway for this support beam that I have going onto my uh, bench. But not only that, I'm not going to just work on this one end, but I'm going to work on the other. Okay, I'm going to do that with both ends. Now that I have my notches all planned out, basically already made here into the wood, all I got to do is trim along inside those lines. Now you could use either a band, uh, a band saw, a jigsaw, even a table saw. Or you could even use a handsaw if you're, you know, uh, you know, if you're really, really careful about it. Okay, so I'm gonna make out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out those uh, notches now. Before you move any further, I need you to make sure that whenever, if you are going to use any type of saw, you don't want to go past the point of where you want the line to stop. Okay, so measure it out. And when you are doing this with a handsaw, 
uh, make sure that the battery is either out or the saw itself is unplugged when you start making measurements okay okay after a few couple of uh, trial runs with the handsaw I found that I found and concluded that it works perfectly but the thing is uh, you're gonna have to have really steady hands, a really good grip on this thing to make a couple of runs so that you can keep making notches. Alright, so I'm gonna try to keep going. Okay, after a couple of uh, tries here, uh, my hands are starting to get tired from holding the handsaw, so I'm gonna try this now with the bandsaw or with the uh, table saw. Okay? Now that I have one side notched up already, um, I'm going to work on the other side. And just to make sure that it fits perfectly, I took this spare board right there. And what do you know? Perfect fit. So I'm going to do that on the other side too. Now that I have my legs all set up, notched, ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and install it onto the base. Test fit is okay. Now, before I go nailing these down, I have to nail down the beam. I am going to hide some of these screws to hold down this baseboard or this base is to uh, make a couple of scores here. I don't know if you could see them or not. Maybe with the naked eye, you know, you could, but. You know, if you have HD on your phone, you could probably really see the outlines right here and right here. I'm going to put the nails right here and here, okay? That way, when I put this leg back up on here, I won't be able to see those screws. You know, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do that right now. Stick it in there a little bit more, that way it won't interfere with the wood. Like so. That's the plan to hide the screws is already set in place. What I plan to do next is make some pocket holes, okay? So that I can hide from the outsides the uh, screws, okay? Alright, now that I've made my pocket holes, as you can see I've already made it so that it's not visible on the outsides. And I have this as kind of like my reference point to try and get this as, as close to 90 degrees as possible. Perfect. Okay, now that I've secured the uh, bottom to the legs, I can fire. I, I can probably uh, give this a go right now and see if it's level on my uh, dining room floor. Okay, so I have it down on the uh, dining room floor. No wiggle, which is a is a good thing. So I can pretty much see it, you know, tell you right then and there that this bench is uh, ready, good to go. Now, for those of you who are into the rustic look, it's up to you whether you want to keep it, you know, looking old, or if you want to stain it, put some protectant on it. It's up to you. So that pretty much covers the bench project. Uh, I hope you like what you saw. You know, you can customize this to whatever you know specifications or sizes, whatever you want to do, because it is custom, so it's to your taste. You may have a short table like I do. You may have a long table. Maybe you, you might want to put a you know reinforcing beam in, in the middle if it's too long. But anyways, I hope you liked it. So please like, share, subscribe, 
and I promise you I'm gonna get back to modifying cars pretty pretty soon and I'm trying to finalize some deals here and there and maybe work out you know a couple of deals here and there with other people uh, maybe do some collaborations here and there so until then good luck take care of yourselves stay out of trouble you kids alright see ya bye